Check out these awesome mountain turtles. Hey everybody, you got the hobby drifter here again. It is uh, mid-August in really hot, really humid Japan. And I'm coming at you with another video. As you can see here, the topic this time is mountain turtles. Um, there are, in this set, it's a uh, gachapon set, there are four tapes, which I think is supposed to be types, but you know, maybe not. Uh, and they're only 200 yen each. The katakana here at the bottom just says mountain turtles. And I love a 200 yen gachapon ball, everybody. Um, like when I first came to Japan in 2006, most gachapon balls were 100 or 200 yen. Uh, now 300 seems to be just about the standard, with some of them going all the way up to 500 yen. So 200 yen, mountain turtles. Well, what is a mountain turtle? Um, well, it's not quite a mountain, and it's not quite a turtle. But man, wait, no, the opposite of that. It, it is a mountain and it is a turtle. So there you go, mountain turtle. This one is the green mountain turtle. It is just, you know, your typical forest mountain. Um, your, you know, regular standard issue turtle. Not a ninja turtle, just a regular turtle carrying a mountain on its back. So, when I first bought one of these balls, I thought, like, oh, that's cute. Um, I can use these for some of the, uh, the activities that I do, like uh, conversation activities with, with my students. And uh, any teachers who are watching this know that it's one of the, the easiest little gimmicks in the world um, to take, like, a boring, like, um, sugoroku conversation type game. And instead of using, you know, like, a coin or a, you know, chip or whatever... Just use something you pull out of a gashapon machine. You, you pay a couple hundred yen, but you, know, you get, get that way more from your, your students' interest and attention. But anyway, yeah, there's four types of these things. Um, and I, there was one specific one uh, that I wanted, and I didn't get it right away. Uh, but I figured for, for 200 yen, I got a pocket full of change. You know, I, I'll put in a few of these things and, you know, see what I can get. Um, the second type that I got was based on Mount Everest. Yeah, it's a Mount Everest turtle. Isn't that cool? Very nicely detailed, and it's, yeah, it's painted all over. Uh, th this one was actually so large that uh, it had to be, like, disassembled in in the ball, and we'll talk about the ball in a sec. But, yeah, here's the uh, Everest turtle. Uh, now, what you're looking at in the background here is uh, King Kakuji. It's a beautiful temple in uh, Kyoto, Japan one of my, my favorite spots to visit and to take other visitors when they come. And the reason that I've got this here instead of my usual uh, Mount Fuji backdrop is because I didn't want to double up on the Fuji. That's right. Next one here is the uh, it's a sea turtle with uh, Mount Fuji on its back. And it's really, really nice. And painted all around. Uh, so, so, so many uh, paint applications on these things. Uh, um, see a whole lot of unpainted plastic anywhere on them. And so yeah, there's there's three of them. Um, now again, let me show you the, the ball that they come in. Usually uh, gachapon come in like half clear, half translucent balls. This one is completely opaque except for the, the holes here and here. And these don't really help you identify what's in there. Um, so occasionally uh, you will there will be a, a uh, figure that you really want out of one of these machines. And if you do a quick glance, you can tell if it's in there or not. Uh, some of them are, are even, like, color-coded. Like, if, there, if there's five different things in the set, there will be five different balls, and you can just look in the machine and see, oh, okay, it's in there. I just got to keep going. This one didn't. So uh, I wound up, I think I got five of these four or five of these, and I think six of Everest, and I still didn't get the one last one that I really wanted, and I couldn't tell if it was even in the machine or not, and, like, the the levels were getting low, <laughs> so, um, you know, you, you, the, there are times when, you know, you just, you don't know if the thing that you're trying to get out of the machine is even in the machine, uh, but fortunately, uh, I did get the, the last one, and it is the, uh, Volcano 
snapping turtle. So you can see why that would be more, more popular. Um, yeah. So yeah, here's the, the set of all four of these uh, cool uh, turtles. I mean, putting turtles in a set of four seems like a, kind of a no-brainer at this point, right? You know, we've got uh, Leonardo, that's got to be Raphael, maybe that's Donatello, and yeah, Michelangelo can be the, the, the little guy. Um, yeah, so, like I've said, um, it's nice that you can still find these, these cute little things in uh, Gachapon machines for 200 yen. Uh, it's nice that, like, like these are just here. Uh, they're not, they're not really based on anything. You know, it's not like a, a license from anything else. It's just a, you know, unique, you know, cute concept. Uh, there is a, a new set now that has, like, houses on, on the backs of turtles. But I think just for, for my brain, not having those to scale is gonna kind of chase me away from those. All right, uh, so yeah, that's been my look at the uh, cute little mountain turtles line. Hope you've uh, enjoyed them. I don't think these are super expensive uh, anymore. So, I mean, if you go on Amazon Japan, you could probably get a set for a reasonable price. All right, well, anyway, yeah, this has been the Hobby Drifter, taking a look at these uh, cute little mountain turtles. Uh, what, what do you think? You know, I'd love to get uh, comments. Love to hear what you uh, have to say about these. In the meantime, everyone, take care and happy hobbying.